Ladies and gentlemen, the beautiful mosaic composed of wide variety of ethnic groups, that is what the Middle East was. 1917, Saispico Agreement breaks the mosaic into four pieces, creating a new reality, a difficult reality, dividing the area, drawing unpleasant lines between the four countries. Each country will then gather people from all religions who will serve in the army of the, to protect their country. Yet, in such a reality, a royal soldier will fight his fellow soldier. His relatives to prove uh, his loyalty. Uh, this reality also caused a civil war in 1948. These harsh borders existing in the Middle East and separating brothers from each other can be erased by one word, good intention and the great powers, it is peace. Ladies and gentlemen, peace. Why a civil war in 1948 separated families from each other? A sparkle of hope was being established somewhere else. The international community made a comment, commitment to upholding a dignity and justice for all of us. To the international human rights law, which I quote, represents the universal recognition that basic rights and fundamental freedoms are inherent to all human beings, unalienable and equally applicable to everyone, and that every one of us is born free and equal in dignity and rights, whatever our nationality, place of residence, gender, national or ethnic origin, color, religion, language, or any other status. And the question is, my respected brothers and sisters, does equality truly exist? It may not be of voice to the whole world, yet minorities all around the world are unprivileged. The brothers of Saispico created minorities in the Middle East who are living in different countries of being separated as well as the denied from basic rights. Let the world see them, let the world hear their calls, let us understand their languages in order to understand their pain, their suffering, educating the language of minorities will bring back together the mosaic while united communities and will make the world as one home for all.